what is up guys and welcome back today we're gonna do town hall 10 gameplay on my let's max town hall 10 series I'm doing pretty good on maxing town hall 10 again I got set back by the new archer towers and the lab upgrades but we're catching up on those pretty good almost got all the archer towers going uh, on upgrades all my builders but one are working that's a good sign so today we're gonna try to get some loot See if we can get enough for another archer tower upgrade and uh, get that elixir filled up again. I like to have the elixir filled up. Uh, once it's full, I'll probably start doing walls with elixir. I've been saving it because I am going to need some for uh, the next lab upgrade. I've got level 7 archers in there right now. Super psyched on that. Can't wait for those to get done. I'm going to do some... Well, I'm just going to keep doing my normal barch videos, but they'll have level 7 archers in them, which is going to be awesome. It's going to be a noticeable difference. Uh, the stats on those are great. couple days on those. You guys will see them soon. So let's load up on troops and uh, get going. After the archer finishes, I am obviously going to do the barb. And then I'm going to do the lava hounds, which will be cool. Because my dark elixir is always full and I don't have anything to spend it on. Um, except that lava hound. So I'll be psyched to spend some of it. it it's kind of unfortunate when... You're full all the time, and you're kind of wasting it. But uh, let's get into this raid here. You'll see this isn't a perfect base. I would have rather taken something easier, but, you know, the past few days, loot hasn't been great since the update. Um, it's not loot hasn't been great. It just hasn't been any easy and active bases. So I've had to take storage bases like this. Not a big problem. I can handle it. Especially when I have uh, some spells and heroes. So... Uh, several of the storages are, well, they're all basically behind, like, two layers of walls, behind a couple, couple defenses, couple walls, um, but three of them are on one side, that's why I chose this base, so these three up top here, I can get, that one lone one by itself on the bottom, we're just gonna disregard that, because this base has almost 400k, and if I get three storages, that's almost 300k, and that's fine, that's a great score, this one on the corner here, I gotta get past two defenses, and then I'm in this pocket here and I'm covered by a lot of splash defenses. So I used a rage spell. I tend to always do that when I'm in a tough spot and a bunch of splash defenses are shooting at me. Archers don't stand a chance. So you gotta throw down a rage spell, get in there as fast as you can, and get out with that loot. Here, my hero should be able to get the last two storages I'm aiming for here. Except, oh, I uh, didn't pay attention, wasn't thinking, and didn't lure the clan castle, that's really going to hurt my Barb King, because he can't engage those troops. Thankfully, he got that storage before he got wrecked, wrecked by some bombs and some Teslas there. Archer Queen can't handle those minions. She's a little slow when she shoots, uh, when she shoots at clan castle troops, but she made it through. At least it wasn't like 35 archers. If you've ever seen Archer Queen trying to shoot at 35 archers, it's painful. She'll die before she kills them all. <laughs> it's crazy. So, we got three storages there, just like I planned. Um, didn't want to worry about getting the fourth one anyway, because that was a good score in itself right there. So, quite a ways off from uh, another archer tower, as it is, I basically need 8 million, because I gotta have some left over for searching. Archer tower is 7.5 million. So, it takes a full day, basically, for me. I usually get about 8 million a day, so... It'll be several more hours until I, I get enough this time. If I don't get it today, I'll do it later tonight. You see there, I was lucky. The Barb King was way out on the outside. I love to see that because you can sort of lure him out. You can lure him out easier than the Archer Queen. And if you lure him out, bait him with a few troops, you can dump some minions on him and uh, kill him pretty easily. Minions are best for killing the BK. Everyone should know that by now, but if you don't, keep that in mind. I know not everybody uses minions, especially at lower town halls, but as a town hall 9 or 10, you should have some minions in your army composition. It speeds up the process of the army build, and that in itself is worth a lot. This base here, not great loot, but I wasn't finding a lot of offers, and the good thing about this base, everything was outside, and also it was easy to one star. I didn't have heroes here, because in that last base where we had to crash in with the heroes, they got hurt. My Barb King actually died completely, so he's out for a half an hour, because I have him boosted, thankfully. So, 
Thankfully, I found that easy base. That's good. After I take a hard one and my heroes get hurt, I look for an easy one like that, either an inactive base or one with easy storages where I, I don't need spells or heroes. Honestly, when I'm boosting, sometimes I don't even have uh, clan castle troops. So, you know, you learn to take hard bases only when you have the resources to handle those bases. Here, sort of hard base, but I've got everything I need. I've got clan castle, I've got spells, and I've got heroes. First off, I've got two lightning spells. If I, if I ever find a, a kind of a tough base, I'll just use two lightning spells on a mortar like so there. So what I'm thinking is, I'll zap that mortar, that'll help on this end, and barbs and archers should be able to take out those two gold storages. This is a weird base, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, it's occupying almost the whole map, <laughs> which is cool. You know, I wouldn't recommend a design like this, I'd never use it. It's a waste of walls, but uh, it's, it's cool to see something you've never seen before when you're attacking it. But at the same time, like I said, don't use this. <laughs> don't use a big box design. So I'm taking out buildings on the outside. A lot of these I can just put one archer on and nothing's even going to shoot at me. Then on the edges there, I took out some defenses. That's going to help me later on when I crash into the base. It's going to help because those defenses won't be shooting at me anymore. But also if my troops fan out way out to the left and the right, it's just one less thing for them to get distracted on. Same thing with my heroes. Heroes get distracted easily and you don't want more defenses than you need shooting at them because heroes can die quick especially to max defenses here I found some giants in the clan castle I just baited them out to the side here where they're out of range of any defenses and threw some minions on them that's the best way as I always say uh, to kill barb king or uh, ground troops that can't shoot air like giants you don't see giants in the clan castle a lot though so you don't have to worry about that so let's go here I'm going to take out the peripheral buildings, that spell factory, and that elixir storage. That's going to help when I crash in here to keep my troops going straight into those gold storages. You'll notice my deployment, I'm tapping three barbs and three archers, and three barbs and three archers. That's helping, it's alternating um, the troops as they run in. They run at different speeds, and the barbs obviously go ahead of the archers. So that's going to help, because... I have a lot of splash damage shooting at me right now. That max wizard tower is devastating the archers. And I can't have a whole group of archers crash in there and all get killed at once. So, alternate barbs and archers if you're heading into a base with serious splash damage shooting at you. That applies to basically any army, any farming army with a lot of barbs and archers and goblins even. So, at any town hall, remember that. Alternate. Tap tap three times barbs tap three times for archer and keep going it, it's a good it's a good trick uh, I was basically out of troops but thankfully I had the heroes they heroically crashed in and got the last two storages I can basically always count on level 40 heroes for any job that needs to be done as long as they don't get distracted that raid didn't have a ton of loot but it was fun I like attacking bases that I've never seen before and I definitely never seen a base like that before that was weird. <laughs> so it looks like I'm not going to get enough to upgrade uh, an archer tower right now. I'll probably work on it later and hopefully get one upgrading. I want to get them as done as fast as possible so my gold can start going back into walls again. Should be able to do double time on the walls doing, you know, one elixir and one gold every day at least. So that'll be my goal minimum. All right, guys, that's it for today. I should be uploading a Town Hall 8 gameplay tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you then.